double pneumonia causes and prevention double pneumonia is an infection of both lungs a virus bacteria or fungus causes the tiny sacs of the lungs called alveoli to become inflamed and fill with fluid or pus causing a range of symptoms including breathing difficulties doctors sometimes refer to double pneumonia as bilateral pneumonia pneumonia is the leading cause of infectious death worldwide among children under the age of 5 what is double pneumonia when both lungs are affected the condition is called double pneumonia like pneumonia double pneumonia is usually caused by a bacterial or viral infection people who have the flu influenza virus infection some types of streptococcal bacterial infections respiratory syncytial virus or rsv and some other infections can develop double pneumonia because double pneumonia affects both lungs a person may find it extremely difficult to breathe symptoms it is impossible to tell if a person has pneumonia or double pneumonia based on symptoms alone anybody who thinks they may have pneumonia must see a doctor as soon as possible pneumonia often develops after or alongside another respiratory illness some people also get pneumonia after exposure to breathing in dust or certain gases or after getting fluid in their lungs these situations make it easier for a germ to sneak into a person's body and cause infection people who have these risk factors should look out for symptoms of pneumonia the symptoms include a high fever chills or shaking rarely some people develop an unusually low temperature a cough that gets worse coughing up thick mucus or phlegm shortness of breath during activities that do not typically induce shortness of breath chest pain when coughing or breathing feeling very sick after an acute viral illness such as the flu or another type of respiratory infection nausea vomiting or diarrhea along with respiratory symptoms what causes double pneumonia infections from viruses or bacteria that get inside of the lungs are the most common cause of pneumonia less frequently people may develop pneumonia from inhaling certain fungi double pneumonia occurs when an infecting microbe causes pneumonia in both lungs potential causes of pneumonia and double pneumonia include bacteria Bacterial pneumonia is the most common cause of pneumonia in adults. The most common cause of bacterial pneumonia in adults in the United States is Streptococcus pneumonia. Virus. The influenza virus is the most common cause of viral pneumonia in adults. RSV is the most common cause of viral pneumonia in very very young children. Viral pneumonia increases a person's risk of having a secondary bacterial pneumonia. Fungus. This is a less common cause of pneumonia. Someone with a compromised immune system is typically at a higher risk of fungal pneumonia compared to someone with healthy immune system function. Some people are more vulnerable to pneumonia. Risk factors for double pneumonia include being over the age of 65 being very young mal malnourishment smoking tobacco having a lung disease such as asthma chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or copd and cystic fibrosis 
having a chronic illness such as congestive heart failure having a weak immune system due to illnesses such as hiv aids and autoimmune diseases taking drugs that suppress the immune system having difficulties swallowing recently having a viral infection that affected the upper respiratory tract complications as pneumonia progresses it can cause serious complications particularly in people with weakened immune systems due to age illness or debilitating diseases such as hiv or aids complications of pneumonia include sepsis an infection that causes systemic systemic inflammation in the body it is a serious illness that can be fatal lung abscesses pleural effusions the pleura are two membranes that line the outside of the lungs within the chest cavity usually a small amount of pleural fluid fills the gap between the membranes but pneumonia can pneumonia may cause an accumulation of this fluid if there is a build up of fluid or it becomes infected a pleural effusion can cause death pleurisy this can occur with pneumonia and happens when the pleural layers become inflamed and rub together pleurisy causes pain in the chest when a person takes a deep breath or coughs kidney failure or respiratory failure prevention the microbes that get into the respiratory tract may cause pneumonia in some people but not in others this depends on the individual risk factors of each person as well as the type of germ present some other strategies for preventing pneumonia include avoiding people who have respiratory infections this is particularly true for people who are a who are at high risk of developing pneumonia avoiding places where sick infected people may be particularly during cold and flu season people should not go to the hospital unless absolutely necessary those with weak immune systems may also want to avoid enclosed poorly ventilated places such as airplanes managing chronic medical conditions such as emphysema or congestive heart failure follow the doctor's instructions on keeping chronic diseases under control Practic practicing regular hand washing regularly washing and rubbing hands together using warm soap and water will help lower the risk of contracting germs getting vaccinated for pneumococcal pneumonia older people and other specific populations are at a higher risk than average of developing this form of bacterial pneumonia getting a flu shot this may help prevent viral pneumonia due to the influenza virus when to seek treatment double pneumonia is a serious infection that can become life threatening however it is also treatable so it is essential to seek treatment early before the infection establishes itself anyone that has difficulty breathing and a high fever should treat treat it as a medical emergency people with the with risk factors for pneumonia such as those who have another serious chronic illnesses should seek prompt medical care if they experience symptoms of pneumonia a doctor can diagnose pneumonia with the assistance of a chest x-ray blood test and a physical exam